What's up, everybody? It is me, King Alpha. Hope everybody is doing great. I just want to say thank you guys so much for all the support um, in terms of the last year video uh, for the units and everything. Um, do keep in mind, this is bound to change. I know Season 11 is right around the corner, but this will basically help anybody that's coming into Season 11 or that is coming into the game right now kind of know, okay, hey, this is what I can, you know, this is what hero class I should use and focus on to kind of get better in terms of, you know, CB in general. Um, now this list, I'm going to be really honest with you guys, it's basically based off of Siege, Ranked, and TW. I'm not going to put Deathmatch in there because then that's, you know, just really making things difficult. <laughs> but um, just, you know, do keep that in mind. This is my personal opinion. This is certain, I know there's certain people that are going to be like, oh, but what the hell? Why is that there or whatever? Honestly, this is my opinion. I think, you know, certain classes should be this or that yada 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 um hopefully this is a bit clearer to see this time as well just in case anybody you know couldn't really see the units last time um also don't forget i i really do appreciate you guys uh helping and supporting out the channel like always i do stream monday through friday on twitch i've been streaming some cb and even warhammer 3 so hope to catch you guys on there now let's try not to make this video super long i do want to basically just uh, kind of breeze through it and everything uh please leave your comments down below in terms of anything you know during the video you know let's say you want to comment eight minutes and something i don't care i love to read the comments so definitely comment down below and i will comment as well so let's get into it guys so longbow is a first i'm just going to basically go based off of this as well by the way i'm just going to go you know left to right so longbow is honestly rework um now is it a good class in the right hands i totally think it is um but honestly i think i would really love to see a rework in terms of it being back to what it used to be in season three but in terms of just the stamina i just want to see the stamina get fixed in terms of longbow because it, it was a really good class um and they've nerfed a lot of the damage aspects of it but i think if at least you just take the stamina out of just you know letting it be kind of what short bow is where you're just literally running and that's that uses your stamina instead of you when you're charging the arrow really long it takes up stamina i think as once they take that out i think longbow would be a pretty good class again um and just simply just do that i don't think it needs to be um anything else uh, some people might disagree with me but some people you know will definitely say that they just want to be able to you know shoot the arrow and not have to worry about the stamina kind of like shortbow so yeah uh, in terms of spear, okay, so listen, I'm going to put spear in beta. Now, I know a lot of people are going to be like, what the heck, Alpha, what do you mean? Please, uh, we need a buff to this class. We need, you know, a rework to it. I, I would really say it does need a little bit of a buff, but I think it could be in beta tier. The reason why I say this is because we're talking Siege, Ranked, and TW. In terms of ranked, it's really, really good for field battles still. Um, I know a lot of people use pike and everything right now, but spear is still a really good class. It's still a really good assassination class and everything. And in the right hands, it can still be very, very deadly. I still get killed by spear players all the time. And it's a good class. Now, does it need to maybe be buffed a little bit? Maybe just a little bit? Yeah, I think it does need to be buffed just a little bit. But is it playable? Is it still a good class? Yes, I think you can still use spear. Um, you do need to get like a proper build for it, though. You need you do need to you know get a really good spear in order for you to actually output a decent amount of damage and everything. It's it's all proper engagements at this point. A lot of players right now are better players than what they used to be. So you really really need to keep up with the times and kind of you know use the class right. Maul is king tier. We all know this. Maul is king tier in terms of, you know, unit killing, hero killing. Basically can do everything. But I will say this. In terms of my favorite Maul build, which is, uh, you know, using Bonebreaker and Maelstrom and Uko's do I uh, mean, sorry, not Uko's do Um, You know, Milnir and Grab. Honestly, guys, I, I if I had to make another guide right now, I would say the fun build is Maelstrom and, and Bonebreaker, but I think you we need to really change out um, Maelstrom for Uko's Doom. The issue is right now is that there's too much CC locks and all that type of stuff to not use Uko's Doom. The big that's the biggest issue for Maul right now. It's like sometimes if you do get on your ass, you're most likely gonna stay on your ass. So it's like you do need Uko's Doom as a save. 
Um, like I said, though, it does depend on your positioning. I think there's a lot of times for Maul that, you know, you can still not use Uko's Doom if you don't like it, but you can really, you know, you just need to be careful with your positioning in terms of using Maul. But for Maul being in Siege, ranked in CW, it is still a top tier class. It's still one of the key classes to definitely use in all of those um, areas. Pike, it is king tier. Honestly, Pike is amazing. Um, it does annoy me sometimes, but I think sometimes it does annoy me because of the servers, because of the 60 hertz servers that certain things, you know, Pike doesn't get stunned by them or, you know, the Pike fucking teleported or whatever. It's like sometimes the servers can be very annoying and could save a Pike because of the movement of Pike. Um, even though I've sometimes had mo moments where, you know, I dodged and my I still got ulted or whatever. It was It's kind of dumb. But... I'm not talking about in terms of servers. I'm talking about in terms of Siege, Ranked, and CW. It is an insane class. Now, they just I really need to reiterate this, though. This is a class that does take skill. You can play Pike and be very generic. And if you're playing against higher players, they will anticipate certain things from a Pike player. So you really need to understand the right movement for Pike, the right skills to do, etc. Um, I think a lot of people think Pike is super easy. But it does take a lot more skill. Um, so do keep that in mind. And just don't forget, guys, as well, I do appreciate anybody that does comment and, you know, let me know. Yeah, Pike, but Pike's too easy. Yeah, yeah. I would love to just see some of those comments and stuff, too. Um, I would love for Glaive to be a little bit higher. Glaive's always been one of my favorite classes to play. But honestly, ever since they nerfed the blunt damage, it's just not what it used to be. Um, especially with the new class Pike um, and all the heavy armor meta, it's, you know, Glaive has really fallen down. Um, is it still a fun class to play? Yes, but it takes a lot of precision to play Glaive to what it used to be. Um, and honestly, if you're really trying to go for that straight damage, you're basically just going to need to go medium armor. And then you're really losing a lot of survivability out of that, etc., etc., is glaive still really fun yes but i think i would love to just see the old blunt damage uh come back i think a lot of players would love to see that come back but you know let's i, I just honestly think it just needs a buff can it still be used yes i just want to really reiterate that it's every class in here can still be used um if you're uh, you know a one trick pony or you're just a really good player and you just want to still use those classes so don't you know just keep that in mind um polax is king tier right now ever since it got the skill grants five seconds of immunity and everything it's been insane everybody's been using launcher bar strike it is a really really good class i cannot lie pike i mean sorry polax is just insane it's top tier you can use it in tw siege ranked um you know cbl etc it is awesome it's a really good class that everybody's been using and it's just been a bit annoying though because there's been so many more pole axes now that it's like all the time you're just dealing with the five seconds immunity and it's just like ah and it's every 30 seconds too so it's pretty quick um you know that they can eventually get that 30 seconds back and or that five seconds back and you're just like ah but is it king tier hell yeah i think pole axe is really good um right now and i definitely would hope in season 11 we do see some uh different changes in runes so that we can actually see more combinations sorry combinations and all that type of stuff short sword is king tier i'm always going to put short sword as king tier just because of the straight survivability of short sword um a lot of people use short sword as like a way to stay on point and all that type of stuff um but it is a very good harassing class and all that type of stuff. Is it amazing at killing units? Um, maybe thunderstrucking Namcans or something. But in general, you know, short sword is more for that, you know, survivability, opening up and being very aggressive and all that type of stuff. It's really, really nice to see a good short sword player when you do see one. Um, but is it king tier? Can you learn this class? Can you be, you know, really top tier? Yes, short sword is really up there if you are going to use the class. Um, now Nodachi, I want to say that it's a beta slash buff, um, but I'm going to put it in buff in terms of the fact that I would love to see certain things kind of get changed for Nodachi just simply because of the fact that even though it's such a heavy armor meta right now, I think there's just certain skills that it's just like, it's a bit annoying. And I understand I can say I can blame the servers a little bit here too, but in terms of the, like, for example, Dragon's Leap ult, 
it just takes too long to wind up after you do stab someone that they eventually either get up or they can just walk away sometimes and it is kind of a bit annoying there's a lot of classes that can immediately just get up after you see you know you stun them and it just requires another thing but is it still a really good class yes i if anybody's been noticing i've been playing it loads and it's still really fun but it is one of those classes that if you do make that one mistake you can basically cost yourself your life <laughs> so yeah um okay listen i know i'm probably gonna get a lot of hate here for some from some dual blade players but i'm gonna put dual blade and beta reason i'm gonna put dual blade and beta is because of the simple fact of how high the skill cap is um and especially because of the fact that they did change uh for you know dual blade that when you do ult um if you stop your ult or you try and get out of it you know you the person can get back up now compared to before where like you used to be ulted and once they ulted you you were on the ground the whole time um you know ever since that did change dual blade has fallen for sure um but is there still a really good amount of dual blades yes i think as long as you're a good dual blade player um you know dual blades can be really good in the right hands but it just requires a lot of skill same with spear it's a really good class but does require a lot more skill to use um so just you know keep that in mind i really hope i don't get massive hate about that but it definitely um it's not what it just used to be it's just not what it used to be at all long sword i'm gonna put it in alpha tier i know people are gonna be like what you're putting long sword over spear and dual blade but yes it is because of the fact that it's in such a good place right now you know for anybody that's a long sword player um you know a good long sword player can really support the team it's really really tanky and can be a very good annoying uh harasser sometimes and honestly i think longsword is really really good where it's at and i don't think it needs a nerf i don't think it needs a buff um but i would love to see new runes to see what they would do for longsword um next season and everything like that but yes you can use it in siege you can use it in ranked you can use it even in tw it's all basically on the player as long as the player plays it right as long as the player is doing what they should be not focusing on heroes more or less just focusing straight on you know supporting that's what the class should be and it's basically just an alpha tier right now it's just it's really good i'm not gonna say king tier because you know all these classes would definitely be better than that class but you know it's definitely an alpha tier short bow is a alpha tier it does require more uh, it does require skill yes but it's you know definitely better than its counterpart of the um i mean sorry short bow is better than the counterpart of long bow because short bow is just honestly it's you know, even though sometimes you do feel like you're useless, you just, I feel like for any shortbow player, if you're struggling playing shortbow in this current meta, just basically you need to learn when to focus units and when to focus heroes. You know, there's definitely different situations in terms of where you can really um, help out the team. There's been so many times that I've seen sometimes shortbow players just don't focus the right thing and it's just like, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, but honestly it's an alpha tier it's really good in tw ranked and siege um and i think a really good shortbow player can change the game a lot there's always i think for me it's always really good to see at least one or two or just like at least two to three range on the team because it really does help sometimes in terms of whether there's dps units or something like that that they can kind of harass next is musket and la well last but not least is musket um it's an alpha tier honestly uh it does require skill i cannot lie musket does require a lot of skill but is it a really good class yes indeed it is it's one of those classes that can still harass still be a really good hero killer too and even one or two musket players uh you know playing with the team being a good team player um and even getting those hero kills and everything like that or just throwing cow chops and bombs all the time it's really really good um is it king tier no i wouldn't say it's really king tier because it requires a lot more skill than um you know these other classes like maul polax and short sword only reason that like i said pike is up there is because of the fact that of how good it is even with um you know a little bit of less skill that you kind of can use to, to play the class so this is the tier list i mean it kind of looks like a little phone um hopefully we do get a new class next season and everything but this is the tier list for season 10. um let me know what you guys do think down in the description below i mean the comments below and everything um i will try and put this tier list down in the description in case you guys do want to go and click it and just kind of use it as a reference or something um 
but yes, this is this is what I think is for season ten in terms of both runes and all that type of stuff. Um, both for Siege ranked and CW. Like I said, I didn't put CBL in here and I didn't put Deathmatch because it would just make it super unbalanced and all that type of stuff. Anyways, guys, have a great one. I hope you guys do enjoy this video and let me know what you guys think. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.